section number four, which is essentially how to treat or model a gas. We'll be watching all type of uh, gases. Actually, a DL gas is the basic one. Probably you've seen it before. And then we're going to see other state equations. And this is very important because we want to model pure substances in the state of gas. So that's why it's important to know how to model those. First thing first, ideal gas, all the basics, why do we use it and is it actually so ideal or when can we use it, when maybe we, we shouldn't use it, etc. And then eventually we go to real gases in which we will be analyzing of course the typical van der Waals equation which is very, let's say, very similar to that of the ideal gas only with some corrections to pressure and volume. Then we actually see other equations which are pretty uh, precise or exact because they have a lot of parameters sometimes. I mean, for example, they have three parameters. This one has five parameters and I think this one right here has eight parameters. So instead of just uh, guessing uh, the substance, like with the ideal gas, we're going to actually look for the substance and look for those parameters. There's also the Virial equation, which is uh, pretty interesting. We will introduce the eccentric factor. And finally, but not least, and I actually think this is the most important part of the section, the compressibility factor or C factor. So why gases? Well, gases are essentially affected by pressure and temperature changes. Uh, maybe a fluid, a liquid, when you change the pressure, well, it does not change that much. Or when you change the temperature, the volume or density does not change that much. But if you are modeling a gas, you will see that the pressure and temperature will definitely change these equations. So we need a equation to model that. We want to uh, relate the variables of pressure, volume, temperature, and amount of substance, also known as moles. So this is essentially a relationship between these four substance uh, parameters, and we could model as simply as a DL gas law, which I'm sure you already know how to model that with NRT. Or it could be as complex as many of the equations I told you before, which a lot of names, for example, the Benedict Webb Rubin or Beati Bridgman, etc. And we will be using those equations to relate not only pressure, temperature, and volume, but the important part is to relate moles or amount of substance. And you will see later that not always it's easy to find or solve for these values here. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.